Hi, I'm Chris and Griego with Griego Mouthpieces, and I got a question um, on a topic that people wanted uh, discussed, and so they asked, "I'm not used to hearing you talk uh, the term compression. Can you define compression and what that means to you, and how it involves the instrument and mouthpiece?" Um, I I quickly learned that if you ever use the word resistance, people don't like it. That connotates blowing or pushing against something. It's resisting you. And so it's a, it's a terrible term to use. And so I, I started thinking about compression and what is needed to get the lips vibrating. And the hardest thing is obviously at, at times to play soft. If the compression is wrong, we've all felt that, especially on, uh, on the, very, um, the very last, uh, 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 to the D flat. Oh, oh. <laughs> so if the compression is wrong, that's a sign for me right there. Uh, if I'm listening to somebody and you want to have the compression set to where that does not happen. It's just always at the lips. That sounds so easy, right? But there are different ways we can affect the compression in the instrument. Obviously the mouthpiece, um, with cup depth, throat and back bore, uh, I look at it as more flow, uh, air flow, um, than compression. I, the cup depth for me, I, I, the older I've gotten, I've, I've discovered that you want, you can really greatly affect the compression with the cup depth, and then you affect the flow with the throat and back bore. You can obviously, um, get more compression in lead pipes, getting a smaller venturi, um, that then has a taper back into the bore of the instrument. Um, then after that, you can have, uh, neck pipe. If you have a larger start to a bigger finish, um, you, you can affect it there or tuning slide. On a tuning slide, uh, same thing. If, if it's a longer, physically longer uh, tuning slide, that'll mean it'll be smaller entrance um, and honestly a bigger, but you have a longer rate of taper at that point. Bell, can you affect the compression at the bell? Probably not. You're going to get your resonance and your sound from the bell. Uh, and that will change color and things, but not affect compression. So uh, mouthpiece, obviously, lead pipe, neck pipe, tuning slide. Obviously, the valve can also uh, affect compression. You have high compression valves or lower compression valves. Um, and that's how much air they hold if you're an optimist or how much air they leak if you're uh, you know, a glass half empty kind of person. And it's really interesting to, to balance these ratios for individuals on a daily basis. For me, it's very common sense. Whenever I listen to something, somebody, I can generally know where in the instrument the compression is lacking, um, where we need to build in a little more compression, or where it's too much and making them physically uncomfortable. Rule of thumb, the closer to the face, the smaller the difference makes the greater difference. So if I'm at, on a, working on a mouthpiece for an individual, I can affect the compression by a thousandths or tens of thousands, half a thousandths in, in throat and or back bore can greatly affect uh, an individual uh, success or failure. And I found that when, when I'm doing my standard D scale, two octaves, when the compression is right for me, I can sing out on the top D and actually play it. And if not, if it's too deep or if it's too backed up, it'll fracture on me. And do a glorious <laughs> which everyone loves. So I hope this helps define compression for you. Um, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll get to them as we can. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff, and I'll keep some um, trombone content going. And um, hope to see you around.